and um, how can we have a personal relationship if our actions have no effect on God? If nothing we do matters to him, doesn't he become an impersonal God? Okay, so we ask Allah to give us understanding. Um, you know, uh, we do not effect God. We do not change God. We do not affect God like we affect each other. You know, but we do things that are pleasing to God, that are accepted by God, and that open us, you know, to the guidance of God. This is one of the wonders of his relationship to his servants. Just as we can do things that close those doors. Okay, but this is about us, and it is about the way that we affect each other. The things that we do and how they affect those that are around us. And this is also about the issue of free will, which we hope to be able to talk about in the nights ahead, the Izni Lahi Ta'ala. <clears throat> but we believe that our God is a personal God. He is a living God, and He relates to us directly. And the, the, the relation that we have to Him is the most profound and the most direct that it can possibly be. He is closer to me than my juggler vein. He is not in me, he is not outside of me. And he is not an image that I can see. He's not like a human being, and yet I can relate to him perfectly, because that knowledge is stamped in my heart. Now, many things, especially Alastu Virobiko, that we heard those words in that place. And then also that we have this prayer, we have this fasting, we have these asma, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, Al-Malik, Al-Qudus, Al-Salam, Al-Mu'min, Al-Muhayn, Al-Aziz, Al-Jubbar, Al-Mutakabir, and so forth. Okay, so this brings to us the reality of the one that we call upon. And then we study about him, we worship him, we draw near to him. He is an intensely personal God. But again, we do not affect him, he affects us.